In problem number 34, section 3.6, we take a cone, right circular cone, obtained by revolving uh, the line y equals x about the y-axis, and start filling it with sand. And part A asks us to find the surface area of the sand as a function of the height y. So given some y value, say, the, so say if the cone has been uh, filled to some height y, um, then our function should give uh, the surface area of, um, of the sand that's in the cone. So we want to take uh, cross sections, uh, par or cross sections right parallel to the x-axis, and we want to integrate from zero to y over um, two pi times the radius. So the radius of each cross section, since these cross sections is just going to be a circle, the radius um, is equal to x. So here we're kind of thinking of x as a function of y, but since y equals x, um, x is just equal to y, so um, the radius is just y. And we multiply that by arc length, which is 1 plus, uh, since we're integrating with respect to y, this will be uh, dx dy, so the rate of change of x with respect to y, um, dy. Except uh, dx dy um, is just the derivative of um, y with respect to y is just 1. So this quantity is just the square root of 2. And we see that our formula for the surface area um, at y, when the height is y, is just equal to uh, 2 square root 2 times pi times the integral from 0 to y, um, say, let's call this point y1, of um, uh, of y dy. Now, part B asks us uh, to find the rate of instantaneous rate of change of the surface area with respect to the height. So uh, how fast is the surface area growing as we're moving, uh, as the sand is um, being piled up inside the cone? Well, rather than working this out, computing this integral, and taking the derivative, we just notice that this is just straightforward from the um, first part of the fundamental theorem of calculus, that ds dy, uh, well that's just equal to uh, 2 square root 2 pi, when the derivative of this part here is just y. Uh, 